What's up everybody? Welcome back to another edition of KCBJJ Homeschool here in our beautiful garage. Once again, I got my buddy Jackson here to help me today. Uh, we're going to go over a Kimura attack series, some options off that from side control. I was talking to uh, Bob about this the other day and I thought this would be a good opportunity to share it with everyone. So, uh, without further ado, let's go. First and foremost, I want to make sure that I have a good foundation level control from side control. I'm gonna use what I tend to use as my one-on-one here, which is my knee and the hip, my head side leg is back, my cross face is really heavy. I've got his, his neck stuck in the pinch over here. My outside arm, elbow kind of stays down by the hip and my hand is underneath his arm here. I'm gonna replace this hand position with my elbow over here, making sure that I'm still keeping my hip down heavy. The arm comes out from behind his head, comes through, elbow pinches underneath his shoulder and gets close to his body on the bottom side, all right? That allows me to not only maintain good tight control on him, but free up my other side to rotate. When it rotates, hip goes down heavy again. I come back to the wrist and I bring everything together. So I'm gonna use my shoulder rotation, not arm for arm fight, but my body against his arm here to bring the wrists together. Oftentimes I'll just pin his hand to his hip without worrying too much about his, his response in that regard. I'm gonna move him and in that movement, I'll be able to kind of bust things open, okay? I'm gonna show it from the backside first because I think it's a huge detail that helps me quite a bit. I'm gonna slide, and when I slide, I pull him up on his side here, off that kickstand in the back, and I bring my knee up to his back here, and I'm pinching that leg this direction to keep him pushed over to the side, I stay low. In order to finish the Kimura, use your whole body against this. Again, keep that elbow in tight to your chest. That's what this arm is primarily for. Keep that isolated. I'm gonna rip it up, boom! Turn back behind it, here, okay? Use the shoulder rotation. The arms will do the last little bit of push at the end, but mostly, you're doing all this off body movement. I'm here, break it away, turn down, okay? I'm staying on my toes, I got a little wedge driving in towards him here. So, to see that from the other side, we'll turn it after I get in the up position, just so you can see what the front side of it looks like, okay? We start here, come around, slide back, Wrist control, bring everything together. When I step up, remember I'm kind of sliding, getting a kickstand effect, drive him up on his side and pinch my knee against his back. You can see there's clear distance between my knee and the floor. When I finish, okay, we go from here to break it away, bang, turn here, all right? That's pretty miserable, that's no fun for anybody. So we're gonna continue our attack series from here though because a lot of times this guy doesn't wanna get Kimura. He's gonna hang on to something, be it his gi top, his belt, or his own pants. He's gonna try desperately to not get Kimura. So another thing that I like, and another reason why I like to have this shit up, is it gives me the chance to go straight away to the armor. I just slide that foot up against his back. I don't come up at all, I turn. Like I'm going into a low squat, and when I go into that squat, it puts me here behind him. I'm gonna sit down, pull the arm with me, and I'm keeping this heel heavy against his body. This knee stays up, and as I pull his arm away, I pinch it in. Now I can come back. Be careful not to hit your head on a garage wall while you go. Slide this back, break that thing over, okay? So, we'll start again from this position. He's defending, he's doing his job, he's keeping himself from getting his arm ripped off in the Kimura. <laughs> strong, strong man child. So now I'm gonna turn when I turn. Remember, keep this pinched in. Rotate your hip line to put you in that low squat. Sit, keep it tight, pull back, bang, over that inside hip. He's getting extra squirrely. You can always lean over the head, throw the leg over, and get here. But honestly, it's tight enough. You're probably not gonna have to do that. So, those are pretty easy options off that. Let's go back to that kind of top position where I have the Kimura, all right? And then I'm gonna show a really nasty choke option out of that. Uh, lay back down, sir. So, once again, good, basic, heavy side control. Arm comes under, come back, control the wrist here. I'm gonna step out, slide forward, bring him up, bring the knee in here. Now. You know, being a smaller guy, a lot of times I run into people that are just flat out stronger than me. I'm not able to pull this away. If I pull any hard, I'm gonna rip their pants straight off 
and that creates all kinds of problems, okay? So I'm gonna hang here, let him keep that grip. I'm gonna lean forward into him, which makes him think I'm gonna try to bust this up harder, but what I'm really doing, putting that weight forward so my hips can move freely. I slide this leg back to the back of his neck here, okay? Not to his head, not on his shoulders, but on his neck. And then I fall to the side. When I fall to the side, I keep the Kimura grip, all right? This leg is over his chest, and it shears back. The top foot is going to hook behind the bottom foot. I'm gonna extend my legs out and squeeze them together, and his chin will sort of sit right here where my hamstring comes in behind my knee, so you'll have that thick cordage to kind of cut in under his jaw. Bam, right there, his eyes will pop out. It'll be a big, nasty mess. So, I had him up on his side. We're here, I'm not able to break the grip. Push strong, okay? Lean forward. That way your hips are free to move, okay? Leg slides back, I fall to the side. This leg is on his chest. I'm gonna slide it back to open that chin up. I get here, extend, and squeeze. The squeeze is like this. Bang, crush his neck right in there. There will be times you step up and this arm here is going to be kind of inside. All right, let's turn a little bit. Just like that. He stepped up and his arm is inside. That's fine, okay? We can still do kind of the same thing out of this, but we're gonna switch it to a triangle as opposed to the leg scissor. I'm gonna slide this down. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna grab his arm as we go. Pull it in, bring the triangle in, squeeze, right there. One more time, after I stepped up, boom, I got here, his arm stayed inside the pocket. I knew I wasn't able to pull this away, so I bring this back, boom, as I fall, I reach down, Grab his arm, lock up my triangle. You can continue to pull the elbow in to make it tight and pull this heel back as you go. Boom, boom. Top of his head will blow off. He'll wind up with a hairdo like mine. All right, so those are a few short options out of that Kimura attack series from top side control. It'll give you a, a pretty easy linear arsenal out of that position um, with a variety of finish options being the arm locks, the chokes, and just abject misery when you squeeze his neck in the head scissor. Yeah, that was pretty fun, wasn't it? Yeah, cool. All right, once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget, ask me any questions you have, uh, request any technique you want to. We're gonna try to do uh, at least three of these a week. Good for you? You got anything going on? You busy? No, all right. We'll check your calendar. You got anything to add? No. Nothing kids these days. Thanks for watching.